Hey, and welcome to the Vergecast for the week of September 23rd, 2013. I'm Josh Topolsky. It's 2013. That's what I said. Yeah. I was worried about it. September 23rd, 2013. Yeah, 20, 2013, as some people refer to it. Hi, I'm Neil Patel. I'm Josh Topolsky. I'm David Pierce. I have no I, idea what's I'm, happening. And I'm Josh right Topolsky. Mm. <laughs> and this is the Verge cast where we discuss the, what's happening. What is this? What is that little... I like how you didn't know what color your shirt was today. Let's not get into it. I Look, I think you can agree, if you look at this shirt right now, which you are looking at, if you're looking at me, it looks red and black. In it a does. dark On the monitor In a here, dark it room, it looks red and black. Up close, it's actually like bright orange and I blue. maintain that you have no idea what the difference between red and orange is. Well, a lot of you people... Have, like, you, have, you have pointed to things that are clearly orange no, to me. No, one thing. I mean, one like, time. Literally red. one time. I said one no. time. I was <laughs> no. like, I like how this that table in that corner no. matches because the that wall's like red. That was the 50th time. And the desk is like bright you're orange, like almost. Almost red. It's almost red. It's not almost. It's an eight. It's First very, of all, that was wrong. Well, David v, agrees. David agrees. This is the Verge cast where we discuss <laughs> the week in uh, technology, technology culture, culture culture, mm-hmm. and the Culture Club, my favorite band from the Ooh. 80s, featuring Boy George and a bunch of other people who I could not, I do not know the names <laughs> but of. But all of them look very excited to be All love. of them. Happy, very vibrant. Just happy to be there. Yeah. Uh, we come and go. Uh, anyhow, it's an exciting week, a big week, a uh, hot, sexy Sweaty week. Yeah. We did a lot of stuff this week. Did a lot of, lot of stuff a lot of happened. A lot of, let's just begin with our news of the day. Yeah. So we did a new... I mean, yeah. it's, not, it's not a huge deal, but it's kind of a big deal. It's like a medium It's like a snork tea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we did a new... We have a new, naviga- new navigation on TheVerge.com. There it is right now. I'm a, little, I'm a little annoyed where there's like... This ad is supposed to have a little bit of padding above it. And for some reason, because of the way the ad is, server is serving the ad, forget about that. Just You can't even see the ad right now. Um, there's the ad. But so this is new navigation, uh, completely new uh, yeah. design, uh, a new taxonomy. We've actually organized our categories a little bit better. We said we were going to do this a little while ago um, so that people could find the stuff they were looking for faster. And we've done that. Uh, we have created some new categories, uh, design, business, US and world, and uh, entertainment, which actually, actually falls under culture. But um, it's yeah. a big, it's a big hu- hub, a big bucket, a big hub, and uh, and yeah, so we're so we're pretty excited about it. We also have like a bunch of new little, uh, like there's you know little uh, what little do you tweaks. call them? The tweaks, yeah. yeah. Like Thank you. Like for instance, like out. yeah, there's a new there's a new way to log in. There's this uh, this what is that hair that's just dipping down in the middle of my head? That's kind of cool. a little Superman. It's like kind of a Superman, yeah. yeah but there's good. nobody's gonna change into Superman here. Are you sure? Is what's the reverse of Superman? Because that's what I'll transform into. The reverse, bizarre like a guy, Superman. Yeah, but all the transfer to bizarre. <laughs> bizarre Superman was really strong, though. Yeah. Now, like, like a like a weak, skinny, <laughs> ineffectual, like Superman. ineffectual Superman, ineffectual man. <laughs> the, <laughs> the Josh DePaul not, story, <laughs> not super, Superman. regular man is who it would be. <laughs> I will, I will rip man. off my average man. I'll rip off my clothes, and there'll be underneath there will be another set of the exact same clothes, and I will be average man. Yeah. Anyhow, but uh, there's a bunch of tweaks. For instance, like when you mouse over our uh, categories, now you get the the latest stories in all of those categories. Um, when you scroll down the page, the uh, navigation is sticky; it stays with you. Which I have found, you know, when we test this stuff, we test them on. Um, we test them on on uh, not on the live site, obviously. So you don't kind of know what it's like to live with it until you actually get it yeah. on there. And I have found like it's incredible, incredibly useful to have that like quick nav there. Mm-hmm. Like I I used you know it's like I, what my, my my thing used to be. I'd go all the way down the page and then go all the way back up. Yep. And now it just seems like so outdated. Yeah. And ridiculous. Anyhow, and this is by the way like a precursor to. Obviously, we haven't gone full responsive yet. That is our next big project. Um, which is starting work like in five days, we're starting work on that. And I mean, not that you'll see, but it will be very soon. And this is like a little bit of, uh, you know, we're starting to apply some of, you know, how we're going to think about our design and our aesthetic to this new navigation. So I'm very excited about it. We also made some other changes. We finally changed uh, the Android hub to a Google hub and we'll be migrating. Uh-oh. We're also in the process, by oh, the way, Google if you... Google Plex, we renamed the forum. Yeah, we renamed the forum, People Google Plex. People are very Plex. happy about that. Yeah. And, 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 you'll, and you'll see over... Over the next few days, we actually have to migrate all of our content our, to the new categories to make sure it all lines up. So if you go to a category like tech and you're like, hey, I you know, went to the second page, there's only five stories here, that is going to be fixed. Obviously, we have tens of thousands of stories that are going to be populated into these pages, but we have to we had to roll out the, the visual stuff first, and then we roll out the migration. So anyhow, yeah. it's exciting. And um, except for the site going down for 10 minutes today, yeah, which well. all which, of us completely freaked out about. Which, uh, <laughs> which you know, was not... Great. Uh, when our site goes down, we all have what turn into extremely depressing existential crises. Yep. Like Josh well, the, was like, "Why are we alive? Why do we?" No, do I any mean, of basically, this? it was like nobody can do anything. Yeah. 
We're just sitting there waiting for it to get yeah, we have no purpose. Look at each we other have no form. Like, well, this is a good day. Yeah, we can just go. No, home I mean, now, I guess. Guess. it's literally like, it's we like, were all. Um, we were on a call with all the developers while this was happening, and like Josh and we were both just spinning out, like wildly yeah. out of the <laughs> I was like, I emotional was like, control. I was like, all right, I'm panicking now. And then <laughs> no, I just, we actually I, said it, and then we began to panic. And then I just, and then I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to hang up because I'm not doing anybody <laughs> any good by sitting here going like, what is going on? Anyhow, but you know, they they got it working pretty quickly. And, and um, I will uh, say my favorite. Obviously, part that was not intentional. Of, my favorite part of this new nav is the the new long form. Click down and page. Oh my god! Work. So so we plan this this long form page. So long form obviously is our you know there are big cover stories. Uh, uh, you know our our kind of biggest deepest um, uh, c- cover stories. We do a lot of long. Where we kind of put the most video. Yeah, the most, most video. Most and it's just like a, these are you know these are I mean literally they, we're calling them internally we call them cover stories. Think of them like you know the the feature in a monthly magazine. Yeah. But um, we obviously have done a ton of them. We have a lot of feature stories, not just the the very long form and the very you know, deep cover stories, but a bunch of it. But we made, you know, originally when we made, when we designed that page that you see, which is a totally different looking page than anywhere else on the site, it was meant to be kind of like a very visual way of browsing our biggest stories. Um, and it never quite worked the right way. We had, um, we had a bunch of stuff in there that wasn't supposed to be in there, like yeah. hands on and reviews and all these like, you know, random stuff like interviews. And so we really wanted to focus in on like our big feature stories. Mm-hmm. And here they are. Uh, and I think, I think it looks fantastic. I mean, it's yeah. really, I'm really excited about it and it's a great way to see. And you know, that's the kind of page that you can, you can check in on and you'll see all of our biggest and best, uh, uh, feature stories. Yeah. And then, but we also have a feature page, which is, we encompasses all of the features that we do, which include things like product stories, um, interviews, uh, uh you know, not, not the full, like long form stuff, but the right. sort of medium length, uh, uh, content that we do, which is still great and incredible and, and wonderful and you should read it. But, um, yeah. Yeah, like my Jeff Bezos interview. This Can is probably an opportunity it? for a segue. We should do it. Oh, man. Uh, and Let's there'll just be a segue noise will be inserted in here. I don't even know what a segue noise would be. It's we just used to the, ha- it's it's the rubber. used to put in a Jetsons noise. It was like the rubber. It's the rubber wheels on carpet. Yeah. Isn't it the, no, it the sounds... Wayne's World? The guy's just, just going like. I think it just oh, sounds, that's an, that's that's like... an actual segue noise. Right. I would prefer the noise of a segue. Uh, it's, it's just a, it's a low. Quiet? Isn't that They're like very quiet. Yeah. It's a low hum yeah. and, and kind of like. It's Joe Bluth like saying dumb things. Unfulfilled. Unfulfilled promise. That's the sound. I told you right about the guy that I saw on a segue. When it when they were first like a thing, yeah. I saw a guy in Manhattan on a Segway, and he was like, it was in Lower Manhattan, yeah, and well, he looked like a businessman on his way somewhere, and I he had a look on his face that was extremely specific, and I've, I think I've talked about it in the virtual <laughs> before, but the look, and I took this away like one one second, I looked at him and I said, this is, this is the look on his face that I'm getting. It is, he bought a Segway, yeah, and he spent a lot of money on because they were exp- they're expensive, mm-hmm. yeah. And he 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 doesn't he realized it's lame. Yeah. And he doesn't want to use it. And his wife was like <laughs> was like, You, you bought right. you bought that stupid thing and you are going to use it. Yeah. And he, that was the look on his face. <laughs> was, was, he like, had been sent to work on his segue by his <laughs> wife, like and he's like feeling guilty and ashamed right. and angry. And also he's late. And he's late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, was yeah. All, it was all happening at once. Yeah. And yeah, that's what I took away from just wow. that moment. And uh <laughs> Like to talk to that guy, but uh, so yeah, so so Amazon released new tablets this week. Yeah, this you hair, went there. This hair's really driving me crazy. You were there. Yeah, Amazon released new tablets this week. We went to Seattle to um, hang with Bezos, Jeff Bezos, Beasy. who be it busy, and who who apparently like hung with a lot of people. Yeah, no, I was like, nuts. like I saw Joanna Stern there, and yeah. then like Ina yeah. Freed had it something. Party. It was a, it was a party, but um, but we uh, but I had a chance to have a good conversation with him. And uh, and you can read that on the site. And I, there's a picture of him laughing. So this has been written about and talked about a lot before. But Jeff Bezos has a crazy laugh, yeah. like booming, uh, somewhat frightening laugh. I had uh, one of our interns was transcribing this, and he put in the transcription like booming laugh, like it seriously like hurt my ears, and I had to take my earbuds <laughs> out. Mm-hmm. Um, but he has an incredible laugh, and he's a really you know I'll, have, I'll say this. Uh, you talk to a lot of executives. One one talks to a lot of executives, and they are like stodgy, boring, um, like detached. Yeah, uh, I would say unex- on message, on message, unexcitable. Right, like they don't feel you know their job is to like make money and keep the books balanced, right. and that's what they're doing. He's not like that at all. He is like really fun to talk to, right, and really excited. 
and seems legitimately, I think he's legitimately into the stuff they're making. He's not right. just like, this is a great product so I can sell more books. Although that clearly is. That's what, why. Clearly part started. of it is, this is a great product so I can sell more books. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he really was, like this Mayday feature, which we can talk about in a second, when he showed it to me, he was so psyched to show it. Cool. Yeah, that was so like, 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 a weird to thing to be excited about. I like that about him. Like, I've been to a couple of Amazon events and stuff, and he's always he's the one guy who gets up there and like I know he's rehearsed and he's thought it out, but he seems like he's genuinely yeah. super pumped about the thing that they're announcing. And yeah, it's like, on some level, I don't think you can fake that. Like, I think he thinks what they're doing no. is really awesome. No, he and really wants to tell he you. He really that. reminds me a lot of Steve Jobs and and. Um, and Elon Musk, to a certain degree, I mentioned it in my yeah. piece, actually, that they are, you know, there are, you see certain guys who are, the invention mm -hmm. is part of their job, and mm -hmm. they really like it. And, you know, he's known as a micromanager. He's known as, like, as kind of a meddler in, in all of the different facets of a product or something that they're building. And I think that's, it kind of makes sense to me. Yeah. Because talking to him, um, he just is, like, effusive and really into the details. Um, and, and I think it's impressive. I just think that there aren't a lot of, there are a lot of CEOs Mm -hmm. there aren't a lot of guys like this. Yeah. And so I really enjoyed talking to him. And we talked a little bit about him buying the Washington Post. Um, you know, he, he said pretty clearly, he's like, I don't have an interest in buying more newspapers. This is kind of like, he's got a soft spot for the Post. Yeah. yeah. And he just wanted to he's got do, a lot of money. To do something with it. And he's got a lot of money. I mean, like, why would you have a plan to buy more papers when you, like, the, it, there's an enormous challenge to figure out one. Right. Yeah. Like, no, I, I mean, think I, if he but, figures but, out you know, the but, one, but, like, but, maybe he'll buy historically, more. historically, newspaper men you know, they own, they own like a bunch of papers, you know, right, they yeah. don't just get one and then they're done. You know, they, right. there are a lot of, I mean, historically there have been a lot But of, the nice thing for him being worth, you know, $25 billion is that he, like, he doesn't need to make that much money off the Washington Post. He doesn't need to make anything off it, but yeah. I think it'll be, it's a challenge to him. And he expressed this basically, yeah. like it's a challenge to figure out a way to make the business work in like our new, in our new world. We talked about phones. He didn't say anything. Yeah. Though, you know, in, in a way, not saying something, even... Like, he wasn't like, we're not making phones. Right. Yeah. You know? I think they're going to do a phone. I, I'm not I saying because of what he said. I still can't figure out why they would do a phone. I've been racking I can, my brain. I can, I can figure it out. What's that? They, they're going to crack some sort of different scheme. I mean, to me, it seems like there's a different scheme in selling phones and, and, and service. Right. There needs to be – that's the hook. They're going to be like the un un -carrier Something. There's going to be yeah, something. I, but what's the – there are no know. hooks available. Like, it's a phone that, you, that roams on all carriers, Verizon, AT&T, no matter what. And for nine dollars a month, for Prime <laughs> but, but or whatever. Every like, every every time uh, you're on a call, you see an ad. You, an ad is there's an audio ad. <laughs> yeah, someone for else a book. is there talking to you for a book, and you this can take action. You have to take you an audio book. You have to yeah. at least take we action. We noticed on you're the sexting. Ad. Have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> it's like it's like, hey baby, look at this, and then it's like here are other shades. other users who have sexted. Just the idea, of like, are like reading the, in the Kindle font, which is super friendly. But like, really we good, noticed you're sexting. It's a really good idea. Actually. <laughs> yeah, it is a really good idea. <laughs> I, there's the model right there. We noticed you're sexting. Sex sex vision. It would be some something camel cased, right? It would be like. What would it be? It'd be like sexed sex offers. Sense. Sexed offers. <laughs> sexed offers. Yeah. Offer sexed. Offer. No, right. sexed offers makes more sense, hmm. right? Because it's like you're being made. Your yeah. oh, yeah, offers being made as you're sexting. Yeah. Just like uh, what is it with special yeah, offers? You got to tie it into X-ray. Sex X-ray. So, so you know what? What is their thing called? It's, it, it's like with special offers, right? Yeah. Right. With sex, sex with, with, with sexy with offers. Sexy <laughs> offers. Yeah. Anyhow, uh, but but so I do I do think they're going to do a phone. I just I'm curious to know what they're. I mean, he didn't say anything. Obviously, he didn't let on. Uh, what I did think was interesting is that I asked him about his, their relationship with Google, and he seems very open to uh, having a better relationship. Yeah. And um, other executives that I spoke to at the company, who shall remain nameless. Uh, I couldn't even begin to start so naming exactly. Yeah, I cannot <laughs> name another but, person but, that works but at But said, Amazon. basically, you know, Google has rules yeah. for partners. And, like, you can't do the fire yeah. and stay within their rules. Right. right. You mean either you're going to get the Play Store or you're not. Right. right. And with the Play Store comes all the other stuff. And I All and, the stuff that you want. <laughs> well, right. But Amazon wants to sell you apps. <laughs> oh, my God. And Adam, sorry. Just Amazon wants to sell you apps out of its store. That's right. Amazon would like to sell you apps out of its store. And Google wants to sell you apps out of its store. I feel like this is the greatest missed opportunity of all time for like a killer partnership. Yes. Yeah. That if Google had not done the place, if Google had kept focusing on its strengths, yeah, advertising and search mm -hmm. and making Android and making and Chrome. And Amazon sold all the stuff. And Amazon was responsible for the books and the movies and the music and the TV. Yeah. Well, and imagine like the... That the, would have been like so a really... You remember... Nexus 7 plus all the benefits of Prime and like all the movies well, no, but, and stuff but, that comes yeah. with that. Like that'd be insane. Yeah. 
I well, mean, but do you remember when the? It, by the way, Android turned five years old this week. Was mm-hmm. that this week? Happy birthday, Android. Android. I think so. Um, five years since the G1. Five years since the G1. Right. Since the first like, when, commercially when available. Android was announced was, publicly yeah. and the G1 was there. And, you, I, yeah. and we did a piece on, we, I was reading back all of our old covers on G1. History of Android. Um, and I, did G1, re- I reviewed it. The G1 came with Amazon MP3. Yes, it did. That's and right. And they just didn't wow. go In forward. fact, in my review, I have like a broken out section about Amazon MP3. Right. I remember it. Oh, God. I remember what it so a terrible vividly. phone that was. It was a well, you know, it was it was, it a, was terrible a terrible phone. phone. It was, but it had, it had a chin. It, 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 <laughs> it, chin. it did have a chin. I actually think the the industrial design of that phone is really cool, and I still do to this day. Like I think Why? it's just a cool. I think it's a cool looking phone. Um, it's like Andy I'm, Rubin's ultimate side. I'm making that face. I think it's a cool phone. You're but weird. you but also like the first Kindle. It was. Uh, I think the first Kindle is cool. I actually hated it, and then like I just came around to it and I bought one. Like right yeah. as they introduced the second Kindle. Which was real smart, it's a good move. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Anyhow, so so yeah, the, so Android turned turn five, right? But it's interesting that you're saying that this is a great missed opportunity because it was yeah. there. They were well, sitting was, on the opportunity. They, they touched on it, but they never really fulfilled the, the potential. Right. So anyhow, but also okay. So Jeff Bezos is great, but they also released new products. Yeah, we should talk about them. Yeah, the Kindle Fire HDX, terrible name. Uh, it's a bad name. Yeah, I don't it think is. it's good. Here's our video of it. Uh, well, and like. That's Wait, a Kindle this Fire is the Kindle HD. Fire. This one is now. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, there's our there's the HDX. But the Kindle Fire is not like 130. dollars So there's a Kindle yeah. Fire, which is which is like the last year's specs. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's like a mix of a new, the two. Yeah, Fire it's got HD a better HD CPU. Yeah, and it's got a new industrial design. It's got Fire OS 3.0, which is what they're calling their By version the way, of Android, which is code named Mojito. Mojito. Which is just yeah, the worst. Mojito. The yeah. worst. Um, You're wrong. That's so much better than Fire OS 3.0. <laughs> okay, it's so, better so, than Fire OS that running. It's saying Mojito. Saying like, Mojito is better so than David, Fire OS 3.0 yes, is I, you haven't won any battles. I like so this is so the, the seven you inches step sideways. Just party so with the my seven Kindle inch yeah. HDX yeah. okay, is, uh, is so these are quad core uh, yeah. uh, Snapdragon 800. They love talking about specs. With these they, no, no, no. Specs are in now. Specs are hot. All of a sudden, like you know, everybody was like, specs are dead, and it's like just kidding. Specs are the thing. Let's all talk about specs. But I will say this. Um, seven inches of 1920 by uh, 1200 display, the 8.9 inch, which is way smaller than the last yeah. 8.9 inch, like they've really reduced the mm-hmm. bezel and stuff, has a display of it's 2560 by 1600. By 1600, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it that's, looks, but that's uh, Nexus 10. Yeah. yeah, but it's smaller than the Nexus 10. Yeah. It looks really good. So I played this is Asphalt 8, which looks incredible, I think. Mm-hmm. Really good. Um, like, look at some of these like lighting effects here. I mean, the, I have to say they are fast. I mean, obviously, a nice new Android device can play this stuff, but the OS is so much more cohesive. Yeah, than, I mean, than, I still don't like this crazy carousel. No, the carousel is kind of lame, but they give you a grid view now. Oh, good. You have a grid view of apps. So you swipe up and you get a grid view there. They would put us in a room that was so bright. Yeah. It was impossible. No company knows how to do this. The service event was lit in deep blue. And the G- the email experience is way better. Threaded messages, label support. So it's like fake Gmail? Yeah, basically. And so it's it's actually sort of compelling now. It's yeah. like a cross between um, mail for iOS and Gmail. I still don't know if I would ever buy one of these. I am I am more interested now than I've ever been. I, for me, in, I think in I'm going to end up buying f- one of the $139. Here's the problem. Like I have a decent. Nexus 7. I like it. I yeah. like it a lot, the new one. I, all I do on it is read. Yeah, that's all I do. I do read. I read my feeds. I read uh, books. I've read some comic books and magazines on it. But like ultimately, I'm not. You know, I'll do with the occasional email because yeah. I have it and it's got email um, or web browsing. Well, it's just weird. It's yeah, just Amazon's not, devices to me are so crazy because the, they announced the new Paperwhite, yeah. and I bought that. I mean, like I bought it on instinct. Like mm-hmm. the like the the crocodile brain took over, and I like you went can, on you autopilot. Can control yourself, and I just like I I need to have it. Yeah, and Take this one I click. I do, yeah, just one click <laughs> yeah. to redemption. Uh, hmm. In here, it's like I don't know what I want this for. Yeah, and I have you know I, I have well, a that's, pile of Android tablets. In yeah, my I, I don't think there's any. You know, the, the the thing it has going for it is, uh, it's a very nice cohesive Android tablet. Like the OS and right. the hardware and everything works. Re- it seems really great. Uh, obviously, their services are excellent on it. You know the. The uh, reading app is tremendous. Yeah. Uh, it's much better than it is. We should talk about Mayday. Yeah, we will talk about Mayday in a second. Yeah. Uh, let me get through these. Let me just get through these. These specs. Yeah, let me just get through these specs. So, no, but, but you know, the, 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 the reading app is great. The TV and video app is superb, and you get Prime, obviously, yeah, yeah. access to Prime stuff. Uh, and you can download the Prime movies. That's, that's what does it Yeah, you can download like that, movies. For me, it, I, it really sells it. And I think that's nice. I just don't watch movies on my tablet. Yeah. I don't. 
personally. I do when I fly. Um, that's that's when it is. For whenever me. I fly, like a lot. nine times out of ten when I'm flying, there's Wi-Fi, so I'm working, and so it's kind of like yeah. doesn't it defeats the purpose um, of the Becky's on primary things. Netflix device has become the iPad. Is that right? More than anything else. Really? Yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm going to watch Scandal on the iPad. Oh, is that what she's watching? Solid Scandal. She's in the Scandal. I've heard that's super solid Carl show. Carl Franzen yeah, yeah. was like, that's a great show. And you should watch it. it. And what little bits and pieces have I catch? Yeah. Like, they sound amazing. Why don't you watch it? I, I, I started watching Sons of Anarchy. Have you seen that show? Uh, so good. You like it? It's yeah. so are you, what's good. It, don't tell me. I'm only at the I've end. I've only of, seen the first season. I'm at the end of the first okay. season. Yeah. It's pretty good. Right, yeah. But I really say, we watched Breaking Bad. We finally caught up to the final, not the final. Which is by the penultimate. The penultimate, the final episode is on Sunday, but we we caught up to it um, last night, and then after that, incredible I think the whole control room is worried you're about to spoil. Something I'm not going to say it. anything, but after that, incredible Walt is Heisenberg. Just <laughs> <laughs> even that makes people really yeah. upset. I'm like, please don't. No, it's you know it's an incredible show. It, it like I was saying to Laura, it's crazy how good it is. Yeah. It has been, and without stopping in any way like it has not gotten there's not gotten one better that show. it's not one bad sh- one episode i mean you'd be hard pressed to find one and anyhow but but uh, then i switched to sons of anarchy and it's kind of like <laughs> it's super you kind of see you kind of see the difference between a sense of anarchy and yeah. and a breaking bad and it's a pretty big you watch low winter sun yet <laughs> is any human no being one's watching low winter low sun. Winter sun. let's get real uh have so you, you ever met a person that? who watches low winter sun are you I watching? I have him? never no. heard of that. I, I, it's the show that's on after Breaking Bad. Yeah. And they trying, tried everything. Like, nope. they did, like, like we'll, we'll, we'll show you scenes yeah, if you watch the first. They're like, look, the, the second time they was on, it was like, let, let us catch you up. It's like, because no one watched it the first time. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to I don't want to diss it, you know, I, but I will say it, it seems horrible, and I can watch I could watch more than five minutes of it. I noticed that the I'm just so tired of, like, went away immediately. I'm like, uh, it's like enough of the guy, the bad cop, yeah. like, who's in, yeah. like, some run-down apartment in, like, some crappy city where nobody can afford yeah. anything. Unless his name is Max Pain, I'm not interested. Yeah, it's basically like, but just like the anti-hero, you know, enough, enough's enough. I miss heroes. like Jack Bauer, where he was just the greatest person in the he world, was kind killing of, but, all the bad guys. But he guys. was kind of a jerk too. Yeah, no, Jack great. Bauer was Donald Rumsfeld in Kiefer Sutherland's body. Like that's yeah. what I Donald Rumsfeld what thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's who he thought only, he was. I hope that's the only like, time Dick that's Cheney occurred. Like Dick Cheney was like, I'm going to write a TV show about myself. <laughs> I'm going to get Kiefer Sutherland <laughs> to play me. That's Dick Cheney. By the way, speaking of Kiefer, did you see the Metal Gear Solid trailer? Metal Gear Solid. Which is completely insane. Well, the original one was totally insane. I mean, I love Metal Gear, but this new one, with uh, Kiefer is yeah. like oh, no. I can't I, I can't this. the Metal Gear trailers are like so long and bizarre that I, I don't I'm like what yeah what's happening is this right. a dream sequence and then every time that they talk like because you know Snake only talks to people over the radio mm-hmm. and it's like they never have conversations about what is actually happening mm-hmm. they have conversations about like his feelings yeah yeah or, um, it's like what ninja is yeah. like wandering around <laughs> being like I've always wanted to be alone it's like yeah. I don't <laughs> I'm He's not also, sure he also you know does, what ninjas talk about. I can't about. remember, but I know in the older ones, he does some flirting. Oh, yeah, he this flirts. Like, uh, oh. With uh, Meryl. Sure. God, I love He's these like, games. What do you, I what cannot do you, wait for this game. What are game. you doing later? <laughs> what are you doing when I get back? Yeah. It's like, sh- you Poor. just murdered 100 <laughs> people. Like, I'm not hanging out with <laughs> Silent you. Silently. I'm going to be yeah, really far away. Yeah, you snuck up on people and killed them. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Um, anyhow, oh, so, 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 I so, so the Fire it, HDX. Have you ever played Metal Gear? So they're no. available. Fire HDX is available uh, October fifteenth for the for the seven inch, and mm-hmm. November seventh yeah. for the, the for the eight point nine inch. Seems reasonable. Yeah. I don't know when the and then they're doing the Fire HD for one hundred thirty nine. Which I think that a will breakthrough sell. price point. That's going to sell like crazy. Premium products. At non premium prices. Like for all of my family members that I kind of like, but not really like. Does that, wait, does the, the cheap one have Mayday? No. Oh, oh, so Mayday, we didn't talk yeah. about it. So they has a new feature called Mayday. And what Mayday is, is you press a button on your settings, uh, your quick settings menu, and a little video window appears that you can move over top. You see it here. And a video tech support person comes on to the device. Yeah. And they can see your screen and interact with your screen. They can t- totally control your device, and they can draw on your screen. And yeah. there's no waiting or anything, right? That's part of the whole promise that like there's no line. You don't sit on hold for yeah. years. They claim they'll be able to get to you within 15 seconds. That's right, 15 seconds. 24 wow. 7, 365, 15 seconds or less. I mean, less. doesn't this just indicate exactly how many of them they plan to sell? Like, well, he, I said, I mean, you know, they say they've sold millions. They, I take that as tens of millions because right. they claim they have 22% of the tablet market. Sure. But that was last year, actually. I just, I, if so you here it think, is. these there's, commercials, by the way, are super There's creepy. his assistant right there. We're like, his he's like, support. hey, who are you? Huh? 
I'm yeah. uh, I'm bad at so tablets. here's so here's you the crazy thing. <laughs> so this is definitely for this is definitely for old people. Yeah, I mean, make no mistake about it. There's a lot of like grandmas and grandpas getting fires, and they're yeah. like, I. I don't know, like I turned off my screen now and yeah. I don't know what to do with it. Um, or something like that. This hair is really bothering me. Um, I no, I just don't like. But, but so, but it's, so here's the thing. It's really cool. It works really well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, my demo worked really well. Uh, I, you know, I would never use it because I know everything. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> I would never use no, these. I'm, an right. ex, I'm a computer expert. No, you know, I'd be too proud to talk no, to I would a tech support. No, but, but what do you need like it for? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not like, hey, I don't know how to. Right. So there's, so, so, the, so, the, so obviously, though, for people who don't know how, what to do with their tablet, who don't know how to change the password or the screen timeout or stuff like that, or, you know, want to find like the hot new app but have never purchased an app on a, on a device before, this is really great. This, these ads are so creepy. He's like at a party. Does, he's like, like he's I'm at a party. party at my own house. Yeah. I don't know how to do Look, this. He's like, I want to play extremely. a video. Like, I bought a Kindle Fire and a yeah. smart oh, that's TV, weird. but I have no idea what I'm doing. This is for TVs with mirror and then, cast. Yeah. There are 10 of them. Yeah. And then everyone's like waving at her and she's like, I can't see you because they never make it clear that she can't see you in the end. So they can't see you. Here's what's cr- a little weird about it. They can't see you, but they can see your screen. So yeah. – <laughs> Presumably, if you were taking a selfie with a front-facing camera, yeah. they would be able to see you, which I think opens it up for enormous amounts of trolling because they just pick up and they see whatever's on right. your screen. I mean, there's several things you could put on your screen. Yeah. Um, so they can see your screen. They can control your device. They choose when to turn off the screen casting, which is weird to me. Like, you go into a password screen, and they're like, I'm going to turn off the display now. And it's like... Shouldn't I have control over turning yeah. off the display? Yeah. Like, I'm going to go into my email because I need to find something to show you, but I don't want you to see it. Well, and they're sitting there, and they're, they're like, I won't them. look. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. So so it's a little bit like sort of it's on there. There I am getting the... Uh, Do you always get the um, the same person or is it different? I, don't, I think, time? no, you don't get like your concierge. Like, it's, oh, it's, uh, it's, why not? it's Tony. Look, uh, Tony, uh, you're, I mean, it's, you and I are So here's what's, inter- here's what's interesting about all this. Yes. This is exactly how I fix my parents' computer, yeah. right? They like call me... What do you do? You use a uh, I use media. screen sharing on iChat. Hey. And like they call it, they have insane problems. No, the idea is solid. I, I don't even know how my parents break their computer in the way I they see. <laughs> so uh, last week my dad called me and said <laughs> all of the music in our iTunes is gone. And I, I was like, I don't no, or I didn't know. it all go to WhatsApp or something? Was no, no, that was uh, two days ago my dad called me and said every message I get in WhatsApp, which by the way, my dad has WhatsApp. Why is he what using is going WhatsApp? on there? I don't know. Every message I get in WhatsApp is going into my photo stream. Is your dad Saxton? <laughs> and I was no, I it's I think people in India use WhatsApp, so he's using it with like his so he's not Saxton. No, he's not I dad, So wait a very second. much. Wait, wait, wait his not. messages were going to his photo stream? I don't think that's a real problem. That's How's what I'm that even possible? I don't know. And I the messages are text. I was walking down the street. The images, wouldn't they? I was like, Dad, I've A, I've never used WhatsApp. Yeah. Just having used it. B, I honestly don't know how you can have that problem. I'm sitting here trying I don't to understand. It out. I don't understand it. You'd have yeah. to like it would maybe there's a setting in WhatsApp that's like screenshot every message I get and save to my <laughs> Send it to photo save to my photo stream. I very Sounds much really doubt useful. that. That's but true. but, but he's used this on his on his on his tablet? On his phone. Yeah, I don't know how that would happen. I, do, I don't know. But so I highly doubt thing. WhatsApp maybe has unfettered access. access. So when, too, when so they have sucks. these insane problems with their Mac, like I can just fix it. And like yeah. they call me, I'm like, dude, whatever, just hang up. Like, yeah. send me a message on on your computer. <laughs> right. Like, click the bubble, and like I'll fix it for you. And right. I fix it in two seconds. Right. I can't do it with her phone. I can't Wait, do it with her tablet. But, and this to me is like the logical extension of that because I'm happy to pay Amazon for this service. You know, like they don't pay them; it's free. Well, no, but, yeah, but you know, but like buy the product. Yeah, but like you're not going to get them in a, 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 a fire. But I, I think what you just said is what's really interesting about this because instead of like normally, you know, you call customer support and they're like they spend four and a half hours collecting information about you, and then yeah. they ask you all the basic questions like, right. is it turned on? Yeah. And for you, like you don't have to do that with your parents, and you like you said, it takes two seconds. You go on, you're like, oh, click here, it's closed. I'll see you later. Yeah. Uh, uh, and for them to be able to do this, like I still don't know how this scales to like a hundred million people. I, that's very. But confusing. it's going to dramatically drop the length of time that each of these individual things takes. Right. Yeah. Because if the question is, I can't find no, settings. No, no, like walking is, through somebody on the, the phone thing. is impossible. And, and I think that's totally right. Except you have to get comfortable with a complete stranger. Yes. At an Amazon call center Staring somewhere, at you. having full control Who and was access. Who the person that you talked to, to me when you when you tested it? What, well, I talked to was, Dylan when I was with Jeff. <laughs> Cool. And then I talked to you. Bros hit the beach and your Jeep Wrangler. Yeah, we like. did. <laughs> Jeff and Dylan and I went surfing. Wait, so did, wait, uh, and, then I talk, and then I talked to a guy named like Tony or something. Did Dylan yeah. know you were with the CEO of the company that he? I, I feel like I if think that he did. happened, that I would think be terrifying. I mean, yeah, that, I mean, that sounds awful. I mean, Bezos placed the call. Okay. So <laughs> and then Dylan like turned white as a sheet, like dropped the bag. <laughs> Dylan was like, "Oh my god." 
<laughs> well, you couldn't see. There's like a red now. phone. It's like it's Jeff's. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so you, but that's the thing is you, you have to just be comfortable with a random stranger having complete access to your device, right. which I'm you, fine with. Once personally. you hit the button, right? Um, you know, I, here's the here's the thing. It's fine, yeah. But imagine if it were hacked, right? No, that's that's and it's on thing. every one, right? You can disable it apparently, but and this is my only this is my only like hesitation is I totally get it, but. You know, let me paint a picture. Supposedly, Prism gave, you know, Skype, with Skype. Right. Supposedly, the NSA was able to see, call, hear and see calls, mm-hmm. right? So just imagine, like, the NSA gets one of their secret court, their secret court warrants mm-hmm. to go and, like, they need to have real-time observation of your tablet. I mean, Amazon has just given them the ultimate yeah. way. And now that they know it exists, they'll certainly be wanting to access it. Right. So the next time, like a guy named Neelai Patel buys Secret an Secret Am- Agent Patel. Secret Agent Patel buys a, you know, a foreign, a foreign national, uh, buys, a, <laughs> buys a tablet, they're going to be like, let's just get a feed of that just mm-hmm. to make sure he's not uh, sending yeah. secret Secret sex. Non, non-American, anti-American messages. Hey, we noticed you were sexting terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'd like Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> also welcome to prison. <laughs> you'll be watching. You'll, you'll, this is reading. something something you can read in prison. <laughs> no, but I just think it's like, look, it, it's a very out there paranoid fear, but it's a fear that unfortunately, like, I have to think about because we yeah, live it's in the real. world we live in. It's real. I mean, they have built into all of their new tablets a way to remotely monitor and control the tablet. Yeah. So, you know, that's right for exploitation or abuse, yeah. the way I see it. But they don't have, and the Amazon people that I spoke to, including Bezos, did not seem to have any fear of, of well, I mean, you gotta, misuse. You, do you have to, you have to initiate. Can they do it? Yeah. You, you have, have to, to push initiate. The they can't just push in. Right. But presumably they could if they wanted to. That's, that would be crazy. I mean, what would stop I mean, them? Yeah, from, I mean, it has well, to be why, possible, what, what would stop right? them from doing it? There's just like a thing they have to override. You clearly are, exist somewhere, I mean... You're right. a node somewhere well, on the isn't network. It, but it's, uh, it's like an app that you run. I mean, like, maybe it doesn't run until you push it. Is it Neil? I don't know. I don't know. We, have, we should find out. Well, he said that there, this is where they excel is this deep level, the full stack integration and delight. <laughs> that was the Venn diagram he drew for me. <laughs> full stack integration. It was like delight on one side and, and, and um, yeah, something like, like complete stack integration on the wow. room. I, I haven't seen that. That's just terrifying, actually, in a way. Anyhow, All right, well, um, stack you want to talk about the other tablets? The HDX, uh, other tablets. Oh, wait, there's actually a question I want to ask you about yeah. Breaking Bad. You yeah. have a theory, and I really want to hear your theory before we do the next thing. About what? About how the show's going to end. About Breaking Bad? Because I have a theory, too. No, 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 because, if I, because I, I, people may not have seen the latest episode, and I don't want to spoil it. Yeah. I, I think I, I can't say, when we're, in, when we're privately speaking, the three of us, we, I don't want to, look, I just went through several days of torture yeah, because I had not seen the latest episode, and everybody was like, "Oh my god, Breaking Bad!" Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I, I actually told Michael that I would fire him on the spot <laughs> yesterday if he said anything about yeah. the latest episode of Breaking Bad. What's happening? What is this? I don't know. I will say I'm kind of proud of the internet. It's Breaking Bad. I'm always mm-hmm. late. Are we just running an episode of Breaking Bad? <laughs> yeah, that's not Breaking just Bad. Back. Is this Breaking Bad? Yeah, this must be like a trailer. This is the Aussie. Yeah, it's a trailer. It's him reading. Oh, this is the Aussie Mandius trailer. Yeah. I mean, I will say this. Here's my here here's my one thing about Breaking Bad. If this don't, show, don't, no spoilers, it, no, no details. There's no spoilers. No if details. This, if it ends in any way, no Jesse character is names. not like out happy, like playing on a beach. Jesse is the, like the, the Jesse romance. is Jesse is, you know, Jesse is like an innocent. Yeah, that's the way I see it. He's a man who. Who just also happens to make the best mess in He's horrible luck. I mean, yeah. basically, he's and horrible luck. And he's just luck. a spectacular drug addict. And yeah. and he's you know he's just kind of like. A, a a loser who right. found himself in the wrong place with the wrong people, really. With the right talent. With the right talent for cooking that sweet blue stuff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, he is the heart of the show, right? in my opinion. And, uh, you know, we don't know how it's going to end. It's, it's a very dark, it's gone very dark. Yeah. Far darker than I could have imagined. And uh, uh, I do hope that Jesse makes it out okay. But I, with this show, I, I my my hopes are very low. Yeah, yeah. For anybody making no, it I out okay. No, I just don't. I I just don't think they're dumb enough to. The, the, right to yeah. The weirdest thing about this show that I, I was talking to Laura about this is that is that the character. I mean, the character of Walter White is you know tell you about antihero. Yeah. I mean, he's not even a hero. He's a villain. Like yeah. he's a yeah. villainous character. He's the bad guy. He's not the good guy. Right. Like, he's not a good and guy. And now they've made he's it like like a, ultra he, clean. He's like a bad guy amongst other worse guys, yeah. basically. But but what's incredible is that you still weirdly root for him. 
even though like your logical brain is like you're a horrible, yeah. horrible person. So it's very, it's an incredible piece of drama. Yeah. Because even with the main character, you're like, you, I'm basically conflicted. Like you're horrible, and almost everything you do. Also, I love you. Almost everything you do is horrible, <laughs> but I love you. Yeah. Um, anyhow, all right. What else is on our list here? Much sure. like Walter White. Yes. The Surface Pro 2 was next. Oh, yeah, the Surface Pro 2. You're like, other, you're like another tablet, and I'm just like, what real, Can you spell that analogy out for me real quick? Uh, can I, I can still I get, root for is it? it? I, just, I just know it's evil. I had a falafel sandwich before I came in here. <laughs> no I'm one's in. even listening to me. What about your sandwich? Well, I'm getting We're to something. We're doing tech news. I'm getting to something. All right. And I'm incredibly thirsty. It was very salty. Is, is there any way I could to? get some water? Really? Uh, like a bottle of water, a cold or cold water? <laughs> water of some type warm water please no Gosh. no not room temperature not warm no. but i don't really want ice in it but i'll take it do we have bottles of water like a cold crisp <laughs> <laughs> uh, there I'm so, i just feel so feel? All right, i you, feel so thirsty do that you just do that i'm so thirsty eli tell me about this event David, you talk about there. the service too. Uh, it was a very strange event. Yeah. So Panos Panay. Do we have this, video? We the have super yeah, there it is. Yeah. There, there's one. Okay, you go. There's one moment during this which I think spells out Microsoft's entire problem. But go ahead. Wow. That's yeah. Just boiling without, it down. Without there. question, there's one so, moment. Here. Okay. So first of all, Panos, is, who runs the Surface team, is fantastic on stage. He's yeah. like, you know, charismatic and funny. Not a tall man. Yeah. Learn that. Uh, but he's great and like super thoughtful and clearly loves this stuff and like yeah. believes in what they're doing. But he basically got up and just apologized for an hour. Yeah. Uh, like the, the underlying really? message behind every single thing he said was like, we did a really bad job the last yeah. time we did it better this time. Sorry. Give us another chance. What, what, I'm sorry. What did he do? What did they do a bad job on? The, the surface. I mean, just yeah. in general. Just in general. He was like, what's was, the number one complaint? Battery life sucks. We finally yeah. fixed it. Well, like, yeah, but he just then, did this over and over and over again. Right. He was like, here what about are the what about 37 the, things people complained about. We fixed them all. The way it tilts. Yeah, no, they did yeah. that. And Which is like, they went through the first surface. Which was, by the they, way, the most vindicating thing of my entire career. They were like, it's 22 degrees. Up and being it's like, perfect. It sucks on your lap. And I was like, I know. You said that? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I know it, it does. I would just like to, I would like to, I want the Microsoft fanboys to, Think for a second about it. Yeah. The, the guy from Microsoft admitted it. <laughs> he called it lapability. I have, oh, yeah. yeah, Evan. Oh, yeah. Weird. This is Seltzer. That's okay. I'll accept it. Uh, Thank lapability. You. Thank you. <laughs> lapability. Mm. Just keep saying it. Lapability. While you're doing that. This is a strange moment for me. Lapability. <laughs> oh. Lapability. Have you ever just had a thirst that needed to be quenched? <laughs> no. I'm still Working thirsty. Up. Only for blood. <laughs> <laughs> Only for human blood. <laughs> Um, okay, so anyway, so yeah, Panos got this this hair. So they went. So the thing that you know they didn't change the the case at all. So I still like, have, but I like the surface design. No, but they no, still the, have the, the twenty two like, degree angle. Yeah, no, but it has, another, it angle. has, another, has another, another angle. angle. Right. And so the other angle is lower, back, right? Right. So when you lean yeah. it back all the way, yeah. it's like resting on a weird edge because it's not sitting at the yeah. on right. the flat edge yeah. anymore. Well, when yeah. we asked him about it. Tom Warren interviewed him after and asked him, and he his answer was basically, "Well, you can't have so many angles, then it just won't even work." And I was watching. I was like, "No, you you could, you could, you have, could have lots three, of angles. Get a four. You could have a bunch. You could do four. Sure. Which would give four like, seems you like cover like ninety eight percent of your use yeah. cases. Yeah. Uh, but, but it well, is a lot the better. second one it, is better, better than better. is better than one. Yeah. Right. right. Two is better than one. Right. I think we all know that. Um, but so they what was interesting here is they focused a lot on the Surface Pro, yeah. the Pro yep. Two. Yep. And they're like, it's a real machine, you can do anything. I mean, again, they're they're do we talking have the clip specs of him too. playing like, this Halo is the same thing. Of Julie Larson Green playing Halo. Where's this is the clip? so hilarious. Uh, yeah, but what, how is this being he spent the entire he's like, here's a demo of how powerful it is. Now you're never gonna do this. You should never do this. He put it if was you office do this, and Halo next you're to each stupid, other, right? And I think you should get help. He said that like over and over yeah. again during the middle of this demo. <laughs> Great it's like, demo. It's like why are you doing <laughs> no, it? Then? Don't do this. <laughs> don't do this. But I'm gonna do yeah, it. Yeah. And then he brought out a red camera and he plugged it in. He's like, if you knew what was happening, you'd be blown away. And everyone's like, but we don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's like, why are you telling? playing a video off the you camera? Know, you know what would, could help us get blown away is you just telling us yeah. what's happening. Yeah. Uh, and I think th that speaks to Mike. They're, they're solving problems that I think regular people don't understand. I just don't understand why, you know, yeah, my... This is the red camera demo. If we yeah. had the audio. That's oh, there's all these docks. This is really the real story of the Surface. Is oh. like, here's the, the docking the music station. Do the music well, dock is cool, the, but... I mean, the docking station solves, like, a huge problem right. for Microsoft, where it's like now it actually can be a normal PC that you just trek back and forth and use on a, as a tablet, like, on the subway or something. Yeah, that all and sounds that's a great. totally usable That all sounds great, situation. but are people, are people doing it? Do people want to do it? Or yeah. do they just, just want to have a laptop? Right. 
Like, like that's just a laptop. And I think sure. ulti ultimately that's that's the problem here is that Microsoft has made a really weird laptop. Yeah. It's always been a really it's, weird it's laptop. It's a laptop. It's like the RT is not a tablet. Yeah. It is, but it's not. It's like a half laptop. Right. And this, the Pro is a laptop with a touchscreen. Right. I mean, ultimately. What and, like, and like, you know what? Cool, but also not cool at all. And everybody makes one now. And nobody really is asking right. for one. I mean, yeah. ultimately what all of these companies, but especially Microsoft, are betting on is that this, nobody wants this anymore. But that's and wrong. I just people don't do, think that's people true. People do want right. this. That's like, they want that and they want a tablet. And right. they want them to, do, to be different. Look, like, there are things where there's crossover. And there are places where if you have an iPad, you'll get a keyboard dock because when you're on a flight, you want to do like a bunch of email. Sure. Right? That's a real thing. Or you want to work yeah. on something and you need to type, you need to really go for it. Like that is real. But that's like a couple of things. Yeah. It's not like I need the entirety of a, of, right. a, of a PC on my tablet or vice versa because when you actually want to do PC stuff or, or, or laptop stuff, you really want a laptop for that. Right. And well, so and like the so Surface Pro might be a good laptop. That also has a touch screen. Right. But it's not a good tablet. Right. Because what makes a good tablet is it's thin, it's portable, right. it's got in tremendous battery life. Well, it's, it's the Pro 2 It's you know, used it completely, well. like basically completely with touch. Well, but right. that's what you the never end 2 up is in supposed a, to be. But you never end up in an app where it actually has like Windows controls on screen. Right. And that's what happens on the Surface Pro right. 2, 6, yeah. whatever, unless they change it. Right. And so, so again, like, the no compromise device is nothing but compromise. Well, no, the and that's I the thing is it. like the, that was the weird thing about this event is they they made the Surface Two the Windows RT model, and I I'm not a hundred percent sure of this, but I don't think he ever said the word RT ever oh, no, in the entire event. Well, but because Just Windows eight point one, part of the, and I was like, nope, that's not what it because part of the only way they can get people to buy those things is they think they're getting a Windows right machine. But so and the point is they made, but the, it's like stop doing that. Just get and make a new OS that's like. Your phone and your tablet OS are a thing, and then you have Windows 8, which has components of that, yeah. but is like for PCs, right. laptops, and Surface and Pro really have to type devices. Them. Like, like I want your phone and your tablet stuff to be more together because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. right. They're smaller, touch-only devices, and then and don't show me Windows. Like, if you showed me a Windows window on your phone, I would throw your phone in the garbage, <laughs> and then I would and then I would shoot it with a gun, yeah. and then I would put uh, out gasoline in the garbage, and I would set it on fire, and then when it was all burned out, I would dump that garbage can into the ocean. Yeah, and, and I put would more garbage, and I on would it. pour blood where it was, <laughs> and a shark would come and it would eat. The yeah. can. And then you'd kill the shark. And then I'd kill the shark <laughs> and then repeat that entire process Got over it. burning and dumping and eating. Until you all know, the sharks until, are dead. <laughs> until, there was, until there was no life on planet Earth. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but so, so, so don't give me this thing on your tablet either. Because yeah. right. it's not, that's not the right place for it. Oh, and the Windows nerds are going to get so super mad at us. Whatever. They agree with me now. They but know it's, true. Is, it's At this uh, point, the, it, Microsoft yeah, it's, it's guys. It's like a, scoreboard, dude. Like they didn't sell any RT tablets. Like nobody wanted them. And making a faster even, RT Even tablet? Microsoft fans agree that this is a oh, flaw. Really don't. There's a flaw in the well, vlog. I mean, my entire yesterday was I full like, of my here's here's the, he's still apps. I love, like, there's just not I love the basic idea that it is a more capable tablet. Right. Right. Like, and that's what they like, say, personal, professional, like over. Personal, over. professional, but like, I love the yeah, idea yeah. of a Surface tablet that converts when I want it to be more like a PC, even has a cursor, yeah. and I could do windowy stuff or sure. at least like multitask with apps. But like, I don't want it to be a PC. Right. For a PC, like if I need a PC, I'll go get, I'm going to go get one and most people are going to go get one because you're only giving me half the power. Yeah. And you're making it all just harder to use. And then the Pro is like bigger, heavier. The Pro is a, ta is a, is a PC with, right. a, with, it's a laptop. with a start menu that looks like. I mean, it's like, only a matter of time until they just make it a laptop. Like that's the thing. Like, well, it is right. a laptop. It's just the keyboard attaches. That's the only thing. Well, but the problem is it's, it's the only it's, differentiated. It, yeah, but, but it's what got, you get is you get a not very not as good keyboard and like a little tiny trackpad. Right. That isn't the keyboards very are good. not bad though. They're I fine. I mean, the old version were they yeah, were not bad. I haven't tried the new one. Where they're like, we have an entire team working on the angles of this hinge, which yeah. is something they said, which is insane. Yeah. What is that? It means like two guys. It's yeah, small it's team. Three, three, one guy three for guys. this one. The angle one guy guys. for this one. Hey, twenty two. How you doing? Pretty good. Fifty five. That's those are the names. You mean each one works on a separate angle? Yeah. I know. So like, what do you do? I'm the, you're you one of the angle guys. Yeah. He's like, you know that this? No, I'm not. I'm not a, I wouldn't say I'm an angle guy. I'm just 20 on the 22. Hmm. Mainly. You met 78. He's drunk all the time. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know. But don't like, know. why would they do that? Well, you know, it works really well. That's yeah, that's crazy. great. Yeah, great. That's great. It's, it's, it works on my lap. Why don't they just, they should make the hinge. They should make a hinge. Yeah. They should have, they should have a hinge that moves <laughs> that like is, can what? do it all. Um, Instead of putting that foot on it. 
Well, so here's the thing. That, that kickstand. Yeah. And here's what it I didn't get about this event. Maybe you were there. So there, there was, Does that make sense? The, uh, no. <laughs> it, well, imagine if one of the pieces had a hinge. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I'm into it. Like it snapped thing. into the hinge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was You mean like all the other windows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like the keyboard had a hinge and it snapped into the hinge and then the hinge well, made no, it. Well, that's the thing. So their, their whole trip with the Surface is like these accessory covers yeah. are now going to be a thing. And I heard like... I mean, I've heard people at Microsoft say, like, they're going to open it up. They're going to let other people make them. Yeah. Um, they showed off the music one. Well, the music the one is cool, studio. actually, but, like, <clears throat> it's not as cool as it could be because, like, you wanted to have... Well, so here's... Show my... it working with, with, with Ableton Live or something. Right. That would be awesome. Look, look, it's made for it. Well, right. so I was walking... I, I was, also, I was... but, like, this is what GarageBand does on a touchscreen. That's, right. that's exactly this is, what This is the say. thing that's crazy is that... GarageBand lets you make music and other even more complex apps for the iPad yeah. are awesome, like ridiculous music making apps. They don't need right. a, a, a t attachment. Right. They do it on like the screen. Like I have right. Tractor DJ. I could, see, I, could, I could see wanting to use a separate thing. There's use cases, but it's like, you, do you need well, it? Well, here's what I don't get about these mats. Like these mats, it's like the, the, you know, when the first iPhone came out, Steve Jobs stood on stage and I was like, we got to get rid of all these buttons. They're in the way. They don't always do what you want them to do. Like, we can just use a screen for this. Mm. And Microsoft is like, we got to add some buttons back no. to this thing. Like, <laughs> let me sell you a mat with buttons on it. And it's like, I get it. Like, particularly in music, people have USB controllers or like ubiquitous. You plug, like, people plug them in iPads. That whole thing happens. But why not make that cover reconfigurable? Like, they're two right. seconds away from the well, courier, right? They just make right. it a grid of LED lights that but light people up. People have done that. Buttons. I mean, I, th I think there's an issue with the, uh, well, there are several issues, but, but like I, if Microsoft wants to be really innovative, it's not let's put out a thousand app specific accessories. Well, no, but let's I, I put mean, out let's put out one right, amazing accessory right. that no, reconfigures itself. No, or well, like, well, how do you reconfigure it? You mean like a, a, it's a screen? Do, uh, not it doesn't have to be an LCD. It can be e like a grid of LEDs. E that like yeah, it can be anything. Backlit e ink, right? I mean, but I think like I right, think yeah, I part of the mistake question. one of the mistakes Microsoft made here was actually using that music thing to demonstrate the they call them blades the accessories. Yeah. Like I think they're going to be way more than just touch covers in, yeah. in the and like little things you flip up. Like they they did this video where they went to I forget the name of the art school, but they went and worked with a bunch of students and were like, "What can we do?" And you know, kids were coming up with solar chargers and weird yeah. diagnostics tools. Right. And one kid did a whole piano. Like right. basically, what they're trying to do is say. Like the blade is just the port on the bottom of the surface. Sure. And just plug in whatever you want. Yeah. And that's a really cool idea. That's a cool idea, except that's cool. But that's also like you know, USB. Not what like, they're yeah, there USB for. is yeah. there. Like the the lightning connector is here. There's all kinds of like I just don't know why they're convinced that extensibility for this tablet is better than solving when you launch Office on the well, Windows RT product, it yeah. like shows you Windows. I mean, yeah. I think it's an easy like, way fix for that problem. It's there. I mean, what they have to do and what this whole event was was them saying, "Here's how you use our products," mm -hmm. uh, and that's what they never did with the first Surface. They were like, "Look, it's innovative and crazy, and you'll love it." And then people got it and were like, "What do I do?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they still have that problem. I still don't know why. I would buy no, but Surface. so I think that's. I mean, even when he gets up and you know they're playing Halo and Office at the same time, and he spent ten minutes on Skype with his daughter and all these different things. It's like they're they're trying to constantly hammer home not just like this is a tablet also a laptop but here are the things you do with it and right. even if those things are the same as you would do with yeah, other tablets they're you, trying to make let me them ask sound you a question. unique why would you buy a surface 2 for what is it th uh, 449 no surface 2 oh the the the, the RT, rt one yeah for 449 instead of uh 139 kindle fire like what is it really going to do for you uh, the kindle Office. Fire? But no. is that that's like definitely that's not, not it. No, that's, I, that's, not, I, that's the like if if I bought one, that would be why. Uh, yeah, but but that obviously is not a compelling point, right? And I, they, I, they, I mean, I think for lots of people, it is. It comes with Outlook. No, it's now. not. It's like if I have it's not my laptop. They had they had they've been selling well, them with Office. Right. It's obviously not, right. but that's right. They the had Office on the RT, right? right? So right. so it obviously work. people don't care about Office, right? They don't. Business people care. They buy a laptop, right? to do business on yeah. and use real office for business for business <laughs> <laughs> on a laptop. <laughs> so, so I don't get the, it's not work. Yeah. It didn't work. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like, why? I mean, it wasn't the design of the thing. People faster, weren't like, people made, like this like, design is a tragedy. It was yeah. like, the design isn't perfect, but it's, you know, we right. said the design's not perfect, but it's really good. Well, and yeah. then they get up and they're like, it's more powerful and it, you know, it, it lasts longer. It's a faster and it's like, failure. That's, and that's great. Right. But that's not the problem. I, mean, the problem I, hate, is to, I like hate to be hate to be beating them up, but but it just is like the strategy isn't 
right. It doesn't yeah. sound right to me. Right. It doesn't feel right. And as evidenced by the amount of people who bought this thing over the last year. And the billion dollars you wrote off. Yeah, it's not It's not a business, not a working business. Yeah, by the way, they're continuing to sell the Surface RT1. No, I know that. Right. For like three, four years. You might as well. I mean, they're selling it for well, they're, $30. They're basically the same. I mean, yeah, right. Warehouse. But they're basically the same product. I mean, right. in many ways, like... It's I mean, gonna, fundamentally, it's yeah. going fundamentally, it's going to do or not do the same stuff. Right? Dual position kickstand. I mean, yeah. come on. That that is a better angle, though. Like it is, a million it's, it's times totally better. Totally usable. Like, that is exactly really the angle. It How do they not get there? That's like a crazy Steven Sanofsky decision. What do you mean? Where he was like, "Well, I only ever work like this, so I don't know why we need another angle." Like, I don't know. Well, anyway. you, saw, well you saw what happened. Well, no, that's actually basically what. Peno said, "Because he was like, I'm five eight, but if I were six five, this would be completely useless to me." And it's like Sinofsky either everyone. Sanofsky is not. Uh, well, no, that's but that's what I'm saying is like for Sanofsky's probably about that same height, and yeah, it probably is. worked for him. And they were like, "Oh, perfect, let's that's just right. do this." Um, <laughs> the two of them, they were know, like, you know. By the way, I look it. at this and I think like this looks great. This looks fantastic. I really, I don't think that looks. Fantastic. The hardware is really good. It like, is. It's really nice. It was nice last year, and the silver oh, is really nice. The, the, the screen on the better. Surface Two is way really good. But again, they're they're fixing like, all this of is the cool. little like, things without this fixing This is a cool product. Thing. Like I want to use this product. I do not want to see Windows on it. Like desktop Windows. Yeah, I do not want to see like that screen right. they just showed with like the excess like the USB. You plugged in a USB thing. And <laughs> it's like no, do it right. better. Like make it surface. So actually, uh, Steve Ballmer said at the, you know, he said uh, they made a bunch of mistakes. He yeah. was like, this is a big mistake. Oh yeah, um, I like this scene where they show you plug plug it in and, and use it on your TV. It's like yeah, get that twenty foot HDMI cable <laughs> that everybody has in their house yeah. and run it across your living room to your tablet. Yeah, that's convenient. <laughs> Six hundred dollars at Monster because yeah. like because the you know, there's not a reason the cable boxes sit underneath the TV. <laughs> you know the reason is like you don't want to run a cable across your yeah. living room to yeah. watch. Something. Doesn't Windows eight point one have Miracast for Maybe. all of your Miracast TVs out in the Anyhow, world? Anyhow, what were you saying about uh, uh, Bomber? No, so Bomber. Um, what was I going to say? Bomber was, was off the rails. The event, he said, which was very upset. Bomber said he said that the Windows they have no market share. Oh no, he said. We have to lean into brand windows. It's their, yeah. their brand for yeah. things. For Everything is windows. Yeah, they need to lean out. And I think that is a huge mistake. No, no, they, I, I just do. There, no, I mean, there is and, also a stigma. Like, like, I see it. It's expressed pretty clearly from yeah. almost everybody I know. And it's not just like tech nerds. And it's not just, yeah. you know, hipsters or whatever, whoever you think I hang out with. Like, it's pretty much across the board. Everyone I talk to, like, windows is a bit of a dirty word. It's like, yeah. it's like it just has a lot of stigma. It's got like Vista stigma. It's, it's the like old you, thing. You think of XP. Yeah, it's the old thing. Right. And I'm not saying like rebrand for the sake of rebranding, but because I think that they should also look at Windows Phone and the Surface and find a way to make those things more like each other yeah. in the sense that they're like dedicated mobile platforms. Yeah. But they, they should have a name that represents that. Yeah. It should be Metro or whatever. I mean, we've said this like a billion times. Like, what's the point of, who cares? Let's, you know what, I'm, right. done. I'm See, done. I'm done telling Microsoft look, that they I mean, should have. And they should call it Metro and get rid of desktop. Yeah. I'm just going to say like, like right. I, we're not, I, I know that like we're, we sound like obnoxious jerks, but we haven't been wrong. Yeah. <laughs> about <laughs> we this were, particular we thing. We were so right We weren't this. like, we weren't like, confused and like it all it blew up in our faces yeah we've been pretty much right you know yeah. like i think their strategy is broken i think that balmer um is a smart guy but took them down a road with this stuff that wasn't quite right i think sanofsky helped down that road yeah pretty clearly and i think they need to rethink like what it is they're doing and how they want to do it and like how they del you know, it's about getting back to delight like bezos is you know this thing about delight and when i talked to um uh uh um, Matthias Duarte at, at Android, he talked about delighting users. Yeah. I mean, remember when we first talked about Android 4.0, he was talking about it. Um, and, and there is this thing about, and Apple talks about, you know, bringing joy to the mm -hmm. car. But there is like this actual visceral thing that happens when you've got like a good product and it like does something you don't expect yeah. it to do and it does it well and you're like, oh my God, that's awesome. Like they need to find more of the, oh my God, it's awesome and learn how to package it right. and, and stop worrying about like, the Windows brand. Right. Because that doesn't matter to humans. Humans aren't walking around going iOS. They're like, my iPhone does awesome stuff. Yeah. Or it used to. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking, of course. By the way, I got an awesome, can I just say something? This is not a plug at all, but I got a, a case in the mail today. This company, Truffol. Yeah. Do you know this company? No. They're like, I saw the case though. They yeah, make ridiculous cases. They have aluminum, like uh, aluminum. Uh, what do you call the things that run around the side? I can like blanking on the word. Aluminum. Edges? Edges. They're not edges, though. They're the, the band. Uh, it's like an aluminum band, and then they have like real wood backs. And I put it on uh, my iPhone today, and they have like actual buttons. 
I was just so impressed by it because every case you get it has like weird mushy extra yeah. buttons. These are like actual buttons as an actual ringer switch. And it just feels like you just have like a totally new body on your phone. It's really awesome. Nice. I was going to bring it on. I actually brought it down and I was like, what am I doing with this? <laughs> but uh, but it's really cool. Like The I wood is nice. I why, like the why wood. Why, oh, because I was talking about iOS. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the wood is really awesome. Anyhow, it's like, it's extremely cool. Like, again, I'm not plugging the brand. I'm just impressed. Yeah. I saw it and I was like, I want to check this out. Yeah. And, I, and then they sent me one and, and it's like pretty awesome. Cool. I wish I had. Were I wish I were using. An iPhone. You were delighted. I was delighted actually. I, I, what I was actually thinking was when I saw, it, I was like, "This is a really cool, like doing something like this because it's much more square edge and it's got a wood back." I was like, "This could have been like a cool." Had mm. Apple like if you had done like the five S with that kind of like weird like we made a wood back, it would have been crazy. That's the Moto X. Yeah. That's like well, that's yeah. What's 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 tell me when the wood back is coming. Speaking yeah. of the yeah. Moto X, I got, <clears throat> I got the camera update. Oh yeah, yeah. That that uh, Anand Tech wrote about yeah. Brian Klug. Is it Klug or Klug? Does anybody I think it's Klug. Klug. He wrote about this this camera update to the Moto X software, and I got it. And I have to say, it does is like a noticeable really? improvement. But is it good enough? Well, compared to the iPhone five or five C camera, it still does not look nearly as good. The mm. big their biggest problem is, and I'm going to tell them this: their whites are blown out. It's overexposed. Their, I mean, their color balance in general seems to be off. It's overexposed. I mean, the quality of the photos is actually not bad, but then the biggest issue is color conformity. Right. Like they have like incredibly bad. Here's here's on in tech the comparisons. Um, the night shots are, I think, the most interesting, but their biggest problem is color conformity. And when you look at a dark shot, and I can show you side by side comparisons. If you look at a dark shot on an iPhone um, next to the Moto X, the Moto X is capable of doing the same photo. It, it, it yeah. produces good huh. results, but it's when you get right into it, the, you look at it, off. the color conformity is like all over the place. Mm. It's like really splotchy. Yeah. And as a result, it makes the image look um, less detailed, noisier yeah, yeah. and less detailed. But it's not as bad as it used to be. It used to make dark, when you took images in low light, it made them look like an oil painting. <laughs> yeah. Or every post, once in a while, it post. would look spectacular. Yeah. Like but one now out of it's, times. it's much more consistent. They just need to work on their, on their color. Yeah. on their color conformity mainly and, the, and how they're dealing with noise. But it is an improvement. It's actually really interesting to see how much you can do in software. I will say that yeah. here you and Dieter both say, like, this is the phone. Like, you're into this phone. I, I think the Moto X is... is, is, is an, I, I, I continue to be impressed with it in light of new iPhones, in yeah. light of, like, you know, the Galaxy Note 3 or whatever. The gold Galaxy S4. The gold Galaxy S4. Can I just say the gold Galaxy I, S4 is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen. I And by the way, the Moto X is not a stock device. You know, it's right. a four, it's 4.2. Right. Um, with some stuff. With some stuff. But the <laughs> stuff they added is, like, incredible. Like, I look at, you know, I've been, obviously, I've been messing around with the iPhone a lot lately. And, you know, the way it does notifications, like, when on the lock screen, it'll, like, wake up the screen every time you get a notification. Yeah. Um, no, there, it just did it <laughs> on cue. And, and, and this, you know, the Moto X does the same thing, but in this really elegant way where it, it only lights up part of the screen. It gives you like more information. Yeah. You can take action on it to glance at it. It's like this really, you know, the more I've used it, the more I've been like, wow, this yeah. is like actually like a really good extension of this concept of, can you put information on a lock screen? Yeah. I, you know, I really like it. I mean, I think there are things that are going to bug, would bug you about it. Yeah. I think you're not going to like the display because I it's really AMOLED. Like the display, yeah. Um, it's 720, you know, yeah. I wish it were higher res, but it doesn't, you don't really notice it on a, on a, on a phone of this size. I mean, you don't notice it that much. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I would notice it. And there's like little weird software quirks I've talked about, like the way it says at t in the corner. Yeah. You know, I've heard a lot of people complain about that. It's actually. annoying. It takes up all this room for no reason. Yeah. It's stupid. Yeah. It just sits there. Um, but, but, but the good outweighs the, by far outweighs the bad. Yeah. And the camera is like, the one thing I'll say about this camera is that I have confidence in it. And yeah. that's something that's that is, new. that's something that, well, I had confidence in it even when it was like. Would, would produce bad results, but the bad results weren't like I didn't capture the image. Like on on most phones, low light photos, which is really where it struggles, <clears throat> you won't get the image. It won't be able to capture it. Yeah. This one could capture it. It just the results didn't look as good as I wanted. But it Fair wasn't enough. blurry. Yeah, they were just like processed badly. Now the processing is better. So that's the con like a confidence level of like if I tap on this, I'm going to get a photo is like a big deal. Yeah. So you know, I don't know. I don't know. My H my my HC one. No confidence in that camera, just blows. Not out. a yeah, good camera, right? Not a good camera. That's, what, good that's camera. what. That's yeah. what. That's what. That's what. I think it is capable of taking good shots. Yeah, I think it's sure. lo, it's low light performance can actually be quite good. No, that's the thing. It's but low it's, light performance it's, is great, but it but it's, it blows everything else out of the like. Well, just no, it's blows speed, everything else we, out. we equate it, really speed. bright with really good, and those yeah. are not the same yeah. thing. But I would say that it's speed of 
of focusing is an issue. Let's just do a quick test here while we're sitting here. What are we doing? Let's take a picture of something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit here on the 5S and just your, take a thousand pictures while you guys do. What, this? No, here, give me your phone. There you go. Okay. That's a, this is a five running iOS seven. Right, but that's that's the same. Yeah. I just just um, so you are, just what so you know. What are you in here? I just want to take. I a got photo. a text while we were sitting here saying, "If you spoil Breaking Bad, I'll kill you." Is it from? Is it from somebody you know? Or is it Jesse Jesse is Heisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> God, that'd be amazing. Everyone uh, is Heisenberg. <laughs> it's actually like, I feel like you're. You had trouble. I think you look at the conformity here, though. Oh, yeah. Look well, at your color. Maybe First this off, is just dirty. But here's what's interesting you got le way less of a I, focal I, point on this thing than I did. Yeah. I, I think this picture actually kind of looks better, except for the conformity of color. <laughs> except that it's completely <laughs> it's the super wrong color. <laughs> yeah. Josh just took a picture of my laptop, and this MacBook Pro is green. I just want to point that out. Yeah, it's really. What show are we doing? Show the oh, camera. Can you? I'm definitely going to get on. a notification right now that's like, yeah, it's we like, noticed you've been sexting. It's like, do me now. <laughs> do me. I, by the way, I just said it was going to be do me now. <laughs> so, Becky's going to be really thrilled with me. Can you yeah. see that? I don't know. I think that, can you zoom in on those? I don't know why we're even talking about it. I have no idea. We have because I got this update and I wanted to talk about it. So we this is talk, a stupid. This is the dumbest, the worst bit of the, video ever. Yeah, I don't right know why here. we're doing this. Let me we talk about okay. Steam before go. we go. Well, we should talk about Steam. We should talk about horse. Who? Evo. Oh God, Steam. There's two things we need to talk about. I got about it. Yeah, right? I have to wrap up. Unfortunately, we, we do have to wrap up it relatively okay. well, early. Well, Steam. Look, they put out Steam OS. Steam. First off, Steam OS. Way, way to build a gaming PC like last week, dude. Yeah, I could put Steam OS on it. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, but I wouldn't because Burn. it's Linux and they only have like 180 games for Linux. So why yeah. would you do that? It's 180. Whereas great on Windows games. you can play all of the Steam games. Well, they, they say you're gonna, but they say you're gonna be able to stream PC games. Yeah. Using some type of Gaikai like technology, presum sure. presumably. So they introduced Steam uh, OS, which is their version of customized version of Linux that is going to be the basis for Steam machines, which are. Which which are Steam I've boxes from different? Way better than Steam boxes. Which are Steam, Steam machine is really good. Which are well, Steam engine is what it should be called. Yeah. Or the OS should be called Steam engine. Fair. Yeah. And the, they should be called Steam machines. Yeah. But let's not get hung up on naming problems. <laughs> but but so Steam machines are going to be essentially it's the Android. By the way, we we this is Android. I'm going to humble. I'm going to brag. Brag. No, humble brag. Yeah. We wrote about the Steam box in yeah. March of 2012. We had a scoop. I said. It's, there's going to be a Steam box. They're working on it. They're going to do them kind of like Android where they're going to have like an open source platform that they're going to give to people and people are going to be able to make different versions of Steam boxes. Yeah. And that's exactly what they're doing. So Steam machines are basically going to be like different shapes, different sizes, different specs, different manufacturers running Steam OS with like, you know, centered around the living room and right. playing Steam, playing yeah. games on Steam. So that's their, late, that's their announcement. They've got another one coming. Tomorrow. Is it Tomorrow. They yeah, have three they've been doing these like countdown if they, announcements. If they don't do Half Life Three, yeah, it's got to be tomorrow. Well, the rumor is also a, a Steam OS controller. Yeah, whatever. But yeah, but if they, they do Half Life Half -Life Three, is like a Steam, the world would Steam explode. OS exclusive. We would all die. No, but this is what I've been saying. If the, you did, if you did a, if you had your Steam machine at a reasonable price point yeah. and your your new platform, have they said prices at all for the Steam? Not machines? at all. Okay, and 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 you have this incredible game that undoubtedly will be like when they, when and if they ever do it, it's going to be awesome that yeah. people have been waiting for, for like six years, five years or something. I think that's, you have just found a way to sell a bunch of these things. Yeah. yeah. But on the flip side, it's also and if like, they do it and they come in, right. If they come in under the PS4, and the Xbox, One. but how do you do, but how do you do that and not just make it? How could you not make that a windows game? It would have to be like, we're doing an exclusive on steam machines. Yeah. There's no other way to play it unless you are running Steam. But then people but will just install but, the. But, who, but right. like, who cares? Like, ultimately, right. if the goal is to be in the living room, right? It's like, who cares? Like, right. fine, you made a Windows game too. It, it, great, it runs on your laptop as well. Like, yeah, but but <laughs> but, know, like, but a lot of people who want to play it would happily play it on their PC. You know what I mean? Right, but I'm saying in the big like, I think the goal for Steam is not to, I, whatever. Like, the market of PC gamers is growing. I wish we could do a real time poll right now on screen. So I could poll people like, if this was an exclusive and you had to buy a Steam machine to play it, you know, would you do it? Right. I'd love to know if people would go in for that. But I think the market for Steam, the Steam stuff, is not gamers necessarily. Like it is, but it's it's designed to grow Steam. So it's a regular PC. Yeah, I so agree. they can undercut the Xbox One, the PS4. Sure. sure. Say right. these great games, you can play them on the PC. Still a like, tough sell for the average gamer. For the Maybe. average, the mainstream. Maybe. I, mean, I don't it's think better, it's, main... it's better than the Android stuff. It's better than Well, yeah, Kia. but it's also going to be way more expensive than the Android stuff. But You're not going to be able to build a Steam machine for 200 bucks. 
But you don't maybe, think? Maybe 300, 400. I mean, I mean, I guess it just requires not with any a lot of, decent like, performance. Horsepower. Yeah. I mean, not with the performance of a four. How much is the PlayStation Four? Four hundred. Yeah. yeah. The four hundred dollar PlayStation Four is going to look awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's going to be really, really good because Sony's probably it's a loss leader for them at first. Yeah, right. but what if it's take your old PC, put in this installer disc, or download this thing? Yeah, I mean, if you have, but yeah, but you have to hook it up to your TV, and we're, you know, you need to. Get, it's not that simple. I mean, honestly, having just built a PC, nothing is going to be simple about it unless it's like a prepackaged thing with a controller, and you're like, plug it in and go. We'll update it whenever. Yeah. Like that. That needs to like there will be a DIY version of it, but that's not going to be a mainstream mainstream acceptable version. And also, performance is going to vary between all those things. So you need to have some baseline, right? There has to be some baseline of like yeah, but performance. Steam has solved these things across PCs and Macs right now. Like, well, it's solved like it's solved e-commerce and like gaming with other people. I, it I hasn't don't hear solved. People, <laughs> say, those like those are like trivial little yeah. features of a game. I mean, well, I, I just, I just saying, it's Steam. Like I know no complains about Steam. The only people who complain about Steam are like extreme like techno libertarians who like hate DRM and like don't want to always be online. Everyone else is like Steam is the best. I love it. Steam is great. It's it can be a little bit buggy. I mean, yeah. <laughs> are we? This is a poll. Is this a, the poll? It's a real time poll. On One Twitter. person said they would buy it. Done. All right. Lastly, yeah. last five you minutes. Say, do you really want to talk about horse ebooks? I want. I, I do. Okay. I think it's a really fascinating phenomenon. Yeah. I, so, so horse ebooks. Well, I don't think it's a fascinating phenomenon because I, no, because of horse ebooks or because it was actually a person and not a spam bot, but because of the endless like within a small community of people, yeah. the endless, like, oh my God, we were tricked. The, the small yeah, community of people. So, people attached, so, like, so just, so, so just in case you guys don't know, Horse Ebooks was an account uh, that was, <laughs> originally it was a Russian spam bot yeah. that was randomly tweeting pieces of like horse related literature. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I'm not clear. And then, like at some point, Adrian Chen from Gawker found, figured out who it was, and like found the guy who ran this account. And yeah, it um, has like 250 thousand followers. On Twitter. Well, it had a lot of followers before, but then it got even more followers once there was like a little bit of stuff written about. It. And you know, sort of this 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 bot that tweets all these weird non sequiturs, and it was very, it's very funny and sometimes poignant and just is a weird internet thing. Still, still has no padding at the top of that app. I mean, I and know, also it was wasn't me insane. Just to give um, you an idea of like how big this was, like Susan Orlean from the New Yorker was is was working on a big story about this and so the, so anyhow the law so but what happened is some guy from buzzfeed or something yeah who who you know he like bought the account from this russian guy yeah and started tweeting as horse ebooks in real time in no time it's like yeah, in real time in yeah yeah in real time um <laughs> which is like you know how could you find the time to open twitter and yeah. type a message and, <laughs> and type in it's incredible non, but anyhow so that. now but now he's like trying to pretend that it was some sort of art project or maybe it always was an art project but the core of it is like you know a, he's the guy like pretended to be this thing and right. and, the, and everybody thought oh my god this did spam, a pretty good job too. the spam bot is so weird and funny but it turned out it was a guy right mm-hmm. and um you know it, it it's the oldest trick on the internet which yeah. is like pretending you are something that you're not. Yes. It's like what the internet was built for, essentially. <laughs> it is the internet. Um, but I think it affected a lot of people because they felt like there was this kind of magical, it was like this magical weird, it was one of these like William Gibson, you know, sort of this like self-perpetuating yeah. thing and like the, you know, you imagine it in like a somewhere in Siberia, there was like, a computer from the 1980s that had been like started up to run some sort of algorithm to analyze literature. And it had started spewing out these like bits of it. Like you imagine this like myth behind horse eBooks and the closer you got to the reality, the more disappointing. Yeah. Just like, just like, just like the wizard of Oz. Right. You know, you don't want to see the man behind the curtain. I don't even want to know. I don't even want to know. Right, especially when they're like they work at BuzzFeed. Yeah, I don't even want to know. I don't. I don't. Yeah, you don't want there to be a man behind the curtain. You right. just want it to be the real thing. So, so what it confirms is that we like things that seem magical, and we hate when the magic is destroyed. Yeah, whether it's on the internet or in real life. So thanks. When people were so attached. There were so many like yeah. heartfelt tributes. So thanks and- to this jerk for ruining <laughs> something magical. Thanks for like ruining another thing that was great in the world. Our happiness. Is with no forever. with no result except like you can say I made art because I upset people. Right. Which is cool, I guess. 
but <laughs> but like I would have preferred that Horsey Books was a spam bot running yeah. in, in Russia. That was just sounds, running wild. Just, it's just so much more interesting. Yeah, and cooler than your prank. <laughs> Anyhow, so I'm disappointed, and a that's, lot of other people are. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to have to find a way to move on as a nation, yeah. as a people. We'll find another spam bot. But, I, yeah, I think there will be another spam bot out there, although I think we've come to now, I think we're going to learn we're to distrust, distrust spam, spam bot. Bots. You know, I think that, that where, we would, where we used to put our trust in spam bots yeah. and, you know, utilize their knowledge to make major life decisions, uh, we're now going to be skeptical. When the yeah. next spam bot comes along, or we're gonna, the first thing we're going to say is, is, th- is this... Is who this, are you really? Who are you really? Are you really a spam bot or are you a person pretending to be a spam bot? <laughs> while working at BuzzFeed. And I think that and I think that and I think it's a while working at BuzzFeed. I think it's a great place to leave it. Is there anything else that we need to talk that's about it. that we want to talk about? Um, so that's the Verge cast. That was it. That was the Verge cast. It, it did happen. That is and was the Verge cast for we, this week. We did this together. Um, we we of course uh, we love that you tuned in. So so great. So Thank cool. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, oh, we have to talk about the thing at the Paley Center next week with Alexis, our small empires thing at the Paley Center oh, next yeah. week. What? That's all the information And I have. small empires are coming back. By the way. People have been asking. Oh, yeah, yeah, small empires. It's coming back. Isn't your show on break, too? When do you come back? Uh, someday. Top Shelf is coming back. Top someday. Shelf is done. It turned out that Top Shelf was being run by a guy from BuzzFeed. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly. We, always, we thought it was David. We thought it was David's show, but I that's just, not I need case. time to get over a horse e-books. Um, <laughs> no, uh, yeah. So, no, we're doing a Small Empires panel at the Paley Center. Oh. Uh, and you can get tickets. Yeah. And you can get a discount. Who's going to be on it's that at panel? Paley Center. Who's on org. the panel? It's Alexis Ohanian uh-huh. and Stephen Greenwood. No, not a big fan. Uh, yeah. He's okay. He's all right. And he's then uh, CEOs of some of the companies that they've oh, okay. been at. Okay. Uh, and it's cool. They're doing all sorts of awesome should, stuff. Should I be Paley worried Center. that this is all the first time I'm hearing uh, about this? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm actually just telling you. What? This is just for your <laughs> I've knowledge. been. We're in the middle of a kitchen remodel. Uh, it's taking up a lot of my, <laughs> my brain space. Uh, but so, and if you go to PaleyCenter.org and use the discount code SEPF2013, Small Empires Paley Fest 2013. Wow, SEPF 2013. You get it. You'll get a. You'll get a discount. A discount. And then you can hug Alexis Ohanian you as can, hard as he you shaved want. his uh, beard. I don't know if that's true, but you can. You no, can no, try and hug him hard. I he, believe you about the. He beard. shaved his beard. <laughs> he felt. You know. He tried to compete. He just couldn't hang. But he couldn't. Yeah. And he had to shave it. He did. He shaved it all. He got rid of it real fast. Shaved <laughs> that thing right off. Okay, so uh, that's the Vergecast for this week. If you'd like to get in touch with us, you can email us at vergecast at theverge.com. You can leave a comment uh, on this post when it goes up. You can start a thread in our forums. We love that. Uh, you know. Also, mm. uh, you know, feel free to feel free to jump into our into Googleplex and talk about Google. Yeah. Um, you can also find us on Twitter. The Verge is at Verge. Uh, I'm Joshua Topolsky. Neil is reckless. David is Pierce. Oh, David. God. Pierce David is what David's handle is. <laughs> and uh, we're on Facebook, facebook.com slash yeah. this is the verge. Uh, Google Plus. We're trying to hit 300K on Twitter. So f- for some bizarre reason. I thought, it was on, I thought that was on Facebook. No, no, we're trying to get people on Facebook to follow us on Twitter. It's well, we very want confusing. our Facebook fans to follow us on Twitter. Yeah. I'm right. trying to get you, I want you to be, every time you open anything, no matter what it is, it should be the verge. I want you to see a verge update. Right, like you crack the pages of the Wall Street Journal <laughs> and blinking and on the page is Verge Tupolsky. or Verge. Yeah, uh, and I think that's it. So that's it. We'll be back next week with more uh, Verge casting. The news is back. I just like saying it. I don't know what that means. It's just it's back. There's all kinds of stuff happening. There's a lot of news today. The summer was long. A lot and of boring. news today, including Bill uh, Bill Gates saying that Control Alt Delete was a mistake, <laughs> which we should check out. Yeah. Um, which is weird, and I don't know why he's doing this to my, my memories. Uh, okay, that's it. We'll be back next week, and uh, as always, we wish you and your family all the best in what can only be described as a nightmare hell ride. Rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>